Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back. It's been a couple of days. I know there hasn't been any videos. My bad. Got busy, super busy. But we're here now, and uh, we have quite a lot to talk about. Starting with this thread right over here, which is obviously the snowballing thread that we have been going over for like a couple months now. As you can see, page 66. We did receive some new uh, replies from the developers talking about 1.5.10 and also talking about 1.5.11 on the next page. So we're going to see what they're talking about, see what we can learn, and uh, go from there. So Wednesday, uh, we have a player saying, hey, any updates? And then Dev responds, currently, average war durations at 1.5.10, which will be uh, beta in one week, hopefully. So that means we have a couple more days, and then we're probably going to have the 1.5.10 beta. So sometime next week, I'm recording this on, uh, what's it called? Well, I guess this week, right? I'm recording this on Monday, so we might have it in the next two, two, three days. Or next week, it's going to get pushed back at the latest, right? Um, it's about 30 days. Okay, so the current average war duration at 1.5.10 is about 30 days. And one, two, one, two, three days wars has a ratio of 10 to 15%. Okay, so very short wars only happen 10 to 15% of the time. And uh, the average war will take about 30 days, in-game days. We added a new test for monitoring this. Okay, this is like the system they have now that monitors after every new patch that gets released, how everything is going, how many raids are being made, how many summons are being changed. We talked about this in a previous video. If this value goes below 30 days, it will give an alert. Yeah, and they get an alert if um, one of the uh, data sets does not match up and then they can see exactly what the problem is. I think this is a very good thing to have. I'll try to increase this duration. I wanted wars, uh, I wanted a war schedule from team. This schedule shows wars in a big table. When I receive it, I will post it, but not yet received. Okay, cool. So he has like, uh, I'm guessing a graph that he wants to show us. But here we also have a player graph. So we're gonna check that out in a second. But um, as of 1.5.10, that we will receive very, very soon. Yeah, this came out last Wednesday, today's Monday. So very, very soon. Sometime this week, next week, probably at the latest. It's going to be about 30 days, so longer wars. And only short wars are going to happen only 10 to 50% of the time, which is pretty good. All right, then we have a player saying, just some historic data for everyone to consider when thinking about average days for war. And this was provided by Mexico. Okay, so this is probably an update from like the past 60 pages because there's been a lot of graphs posted to this, um, what do you call it? This thread. So as we can see, okay, we got 1.5.0, 1.5.1, 1.5.6, uh, before 1.5.6 and 1.5.6. Okay. Okay, so in 1.5.0, as you can see, there was a lot of wars that just lasted forever. Wars greater than a year was the bigger percentage. Now, 1.5.1 beta, it dropped very, well, it didn't drop significantly, but what is this line right over here? Mean and medium. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we had very, very long wars in 1.5.0, and then the 1.5.1 beta, it dropped very significantly. I'm pretty sure the devs wanted it to be kind of like in the middle over here but obviously it dropped all the way down and it looks like um the mean war length or you know even the medium they're kind of very close together would be between 18 to 24 days and then it went back up but it was very random because sometimes it'll be 36 sometimes 22 then it went back down again to 17 to 12 which is way too short for uh you know 17 to 12 days way too short and then uh 1.5.6 it went up to a good a good place, 37 to, uh, what's it called, 31. And where's the super short? Okay, okay. so what happened is in 1.5.6, it went up to a good area in the 30s. But the problem is it still had about 20, what's it called? Check right over here. 21 plus 6. Almost 30% of the wars only lasted, um, what's it called? Shorter than one season, which I'm, which is what, three months, right? So that was a problem. They wanted this to be a lot less. And as we can see over here, at 1.5.10, it will be between 10 to 15%, not close to 30%. So pretty good. All righty, let's go to the next page. Okay, so received this yesterday. The dev state, this is the latest first. 
10 years of war slash peace data from 1.5.11 sample run. 1.5.10 would be different. The data is after latest changes. Okay, cool. Anyone interest, interested can make examinations over this data. I did not calculate mean uh, slash medium of war durations, but it can be about 35. Cool. So we got a lot of stuff here if you really want to go at it. But let's see. Oh, we got a nice little map. Okay, so here he shows total declarations of war, 178 in 10 years. And then obviously per year that, that comes out to be 17.8. And after 10 years, the map looks very much the same. Very much the same. Um, only thing that I could see that was really changed was Gazates took Tial and Imprella and... Hassan Folk, I think that's what how, how you call it. That's pretty much the biggest change I see here. We have a rebel, uh, what's it called? A rebel town here. But as you can see, all, oh, uh, what's it called? All the kingdoms are intact and thriving, which is very good. Very good in my opinion. So the player, so then a player uh, response says, so I guess it would be fitting to rename well, Bannerlord calls a war to a skirmish, rename peace to a ceasefire, because I guess wars and peace declarations are events that don't happen frequently in real life. Thank you for your insight, Mexico. I don't think so. I don't know where he got that from. But okay. Uh, Dev says, yes, it could be better to lower number of war slash peace declarations to below 100 for first 10 years. Okay, so they do want to lower this. They want a lot less wars, which kind of makes sense. Okay, so they want to get this number to 100. And by the way, this number is from 1.5.11, which is, we're still not even close to there yet. Otherwise, wars are like small events and peace are like breaks between these events. Even 100 declarations in 10 years seems unrealistic. However, this will be acceptable. Number of, number of declarations in the first 10 years was about 200 to 220 before latest changes. Okay, so before 1.5.10, I'm guessing currently 1.5.9, it was between 200 to uh, 220 in 10 years. And now they got it down to about 178, which is good. Uh, personally, I don't think it has to look. I'm all about making it like, you know, realistic. But at the same time for gameplay, um, I think it's cool to keep lowering it. But we don't have to get it like below 100 and stuff like it's I think it'll be fine. Like the dev stage, I think it, you know, it doesn't have to be completely accurate. But I do agree. Probably a little bit less would be better. Got a lot more graphs here. Look at this. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, okay, so he actually graphed all this stuff out. There it is, baby. Okay, so what do we got? Jesus Christ, so much to read. Okay, this looks a lot easier. Okay, so what changed from 1.5.6? So this is the old graph we just saw, and then he added 1.5.11, which is this data up here. And as we can see, what really changed? Looks like it got a little bit worse though. So there's not gonna be really long wars at all anymore. 1% of that. Okay. I guess it improved. There's going to be a lot more wars that are shorter than a season, though, so I don't know if that's the best improvement, but we'll see. Okay. And then I also wanted to point out the kingdom win percentage and how that has changed over the patch. I think it's a great sign for overall balance. Okay. Also, how well did they, have they done in terms of, um, I'm guessing, winning wars, right? Or winning battles. And as you can see... Start off kind of crazy for some, such as the Gazates at 96. And as the patches roll through, um, we can see it all goes down close to 50. Obviously, some still have more of an advantage, but it's good to see that they're all getting kind of close together. Vlandia actually having a very good percentage of 71. So that's pretty crazy. Alrighty. Now, let's see this, I think this is the last reply. Yeah, let's see this last reply from the developer. So the developer says, thank you, obviously this guy, a lot of good graphs over here. 
Uh, great charts and graphs, just a, just a correction. This data was from 1.5.11, not 1.5.10, okay? While fixing snowballing problem, maybe we made war shorter at 1.5.7 to 1.5.9 period. Because now kingdoms usually do not want to face more than one enemy. So if one enemy create a new war, the two existing wars usually end. Tributes paid and peace is signed. This makes war shorter. That's why even 1.5.11 war durations are nearly the same as 1.5.6. It is still good. Okay. Because now we have no snowballing problem with the same average war duration. Okay, so what he's saying is um, it might not look like this is too big of a change. But since, uh, what's it called? Since Kingdom don't snowball as much, it's okay that it looks um, very similar because there's other factors that aren't really included in this that uh, have been changed, which makes sense. Like, you know, Kingdoms being able to stay alive, being able to share uh, gold in between each other. That's very good. And then he states, I'll be away for the next two to three weeks. When return, we'll try to increase war durations more with keeping snowball score under 40. We'll keep sharing data here. There it is. Go take your break, man. You know, sometimes you need a break. I need a little break. You know, even though I had to because, you know, <laughs> I wasn't really at the house. But still, you know, you need your break sometime. But, yeah, that will do it for me. Let me know what you guys think of uh, this. Uh, obviously, we're going to get 1.5.10 very, very soon this week, maybe next week. And then, uh, yeah, looks like 1.5.10. 1.5.11 is uh, close by as well because if he's already making tests for it, that means that a majority of the changes are done for that uh, patch. Obviously, it still has to go to testing and all that, but it is a very good sign to see. And uh, yeah, very excited to see what we get in the future. So like always, stay safe.